Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm sure you're rather here from my first video, or my vi other video that I've uploaded today. I just thought I'd upload twice since I uh, didn't really upload this week, but that's fine because life happened. Um, yeah, I'll be uploading twice next this next week too, I believe. Um, and I'll actually be doing a song cover next week. Um, I'll play a little snippet of that for the end for y'all. And anyways, today's well, today's second tutorial is over. The song that I live streamed for one hour and fifty four minutes. Thomas the Train theme song. Yep, I just had to do it to end this old friend of mine. Anyways, I'll play what you'll be learning today. It's very simple, and I'm not doing like the full intro. I'm just doing the part that I played for two hours because why not? I need content. Basically two hours will drive any normal human being insane. Anyway, if you would like me to do the full version of the song, I will uh, do a tutorial over like, I don't know how the rest of the song goes, but I will take time out of my years that I've left in me and learn that and teach y'all. If you would like to see that, you can comment below. Anyways, let's get into it. So, let's work on the right hand first. Super simple. Start on the G with your thumb. G A B C D E G sharp. Yeah, I told you it'd be simple, but I mean G A B C D E G sharp. You're like just walking up the white keys from G to E, and then you hit G sharp. It's super simple, easy as like. <clears throat> And just super easy. And once you have that down, good job, because you just learned the treble clef in 15 seconds. The bass clef, however, is actually fairly hard. I'm not even joking. <clears throat> it's C sharp E G chord. It's C sharp E G. Yeah. So what you want to do is basically you want to find C, E, G, and then G, C, E, and practice bouncing those, just alternating between those. Yeah, just bounce between those two chords, C, E, G, G, C, E. I might just be insane from playing this too much, but I think that kind of sounds like the Minecraft theme. Yeah, um, just practice bouncing. I mean, I have no tips for, like, doing that better. It totally depends on how you play and size your hands are. And just practice doing that. And once you're done, once you think you've mastered the skill of bouncing two chords, then what you want to do is practice G sharp C sharp chord. G sharp C sharp. And this song's really not that bad. Um, when the weight of bass clef correlates with the treble clef, is like every um, every two notes you play on the treble clef, you'll do a bounce. And you might notice, like, when I'm done doing the, I'll play this chord, like, four or five times. And that's just, you just repeat this as much as you want to annoy yourself, to drive yourself insane, or to annoy your family members. But yeah, that's basically all for today's tutorial. I did not put no names up on the screen, because this is fairly easy, and it should not need no names. Yeah, this is just my second upload today. I got my camera stuff set up, so I thought, why not do another video? But let's do a complete playthrough. Let's repeat it three times. Alright, on the count of three. One, two, three, play along. 
By the way, you can really decide what to put you on a play this side. I'm playing a little bit slower. You can speed up. And that is it for today's tutorial, guys. Basically, I actually on my keyboard of the train setting, which I will try to find. Um, let me see here. Train setting. This will sound perfect with it. Alright. Oh, yes. Now what I need to do is find the piano setting. That sounds like a train. Alright, let's go. Oh, that is so perfect. Anyway, um, that is it for today's tutorial, guys. If you are one of the rare few who stays to the end, you will get to hear me do a sneak peek of the next song I'll cover on my YouTube channel. It is another classic song. I'm sure y'all will recognize that in a heartbeat, and um, that will be coming up probably next Sunday or like a week and a half from now, depends on how much time I put into learning it, um, how busy my week is, and anyway, thank you for watching today's tutorials, the other one will be linked in the description if y'all want to check out how to play Africa by Toto, and thank you for staying towards the end of the video, um, and I'll see y'all in my next video, goodbye.